Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Just watching this little split right here. Watching them bringing in some pollen. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today, and a lot of people ask about this, and they always ask me, when do you change it up? And what it is, is your sugar. And what ratios you should be running at what time of year, and when is a good time to change them up. Uh, this is the last that we bought right here. We had actually got this at uh, at Walmart. They had, uh, I think it's, uh, what is it, 25 pound bags. And it makes it really easy to mix in your mixer. Now, not to get off subject about the, the sugar, uh, what we like to run through the spring is a one-to-one -one mix. Now, for those of you who doesn't, I mean, I understand some people don't understand what that means. It means one part water, one part sugar. Weigh it up in equal amounts. Volume is pretty close. And to me, in my opinion, it's not that big of a deal. If you measure out a cup of water and a cup of sugar, it's pretty close. But if you want to be real technical about it, weigh it out. And, but in equal parts, one part water, one part sugar, that's a one-to-one -one mix. Now, one-to-one -one mix mimics the natural nectar flow coming in. It encourages the queen to keep laying, and, and it, it, it's, it also for the bees to draw out wax. It's, it's much easier. Now, when you go to a two-to-one, two parts sugar, one part water, now what we like to do when we use that is in colder conditions. When the queen has already pretty much stopped, not stopped, the queen never stops. While I'm on the subject of that, you can go back and look at my previous videos back when we pulled frames out in the, uh, January, December and January. She never stops laying. She slows way down. So, but when they get to the point where she's slowing way down, you know, like coming up at the, what we normally do, weather permitted and it doesn't get really cold through most october we're still building a one-to-one -one because we're trying to get these splits these small young splits built up before winter now usually a rule of thumb with us is through november we'll start with a two to one now it's not always guaranteed that we will like i said if the weather falls off really cold early we will sh we'll cut it short and we'll start feeding a two to one and then, as a rule of thumb here in North Georgia, that's just the guidelines that we go by here. It's going to be different in your area. December 1st, we pull that out, or let it run out, and then we feed dry sugar in our high top feeders, or you can put it direct, go back and look at my previous videos where I explain how to do that, or you can just uh, put down a, a paper towel or a newspaper on top of your frames, pour the sugar. I get videos uh, that you can check out how to do that. It's very simple. Now, what that acts as is an insurance policy for those bees, and it's just dry granulated sugar poured directly on top of the frames. Now, we do that through uh, December, January, and then coming out of, the, uh, out of winter, about usually, it's not always the same, usually about mid-February, the red maple starts blooming. As soon as that red maple starts blooming, We'll make the first feed a two to one because it's still at, it's still pretty cold at that time. Now, usually for about two weeks through February, we'll feed a two to one ratio. And about that time is when the bees stop taking your, your pollen because we'll feed pollen all through the winter. As soon as that red maple blooms, it's, it's like clockwork guaranteed those bees will stop feeding on the pollen and they'll go directly towards your sugar water. And uh, at that time, like I said, that's about mid-February. So, so for about two weeks, we're feeding two to one. Now, usually about March 1st, we'll start back on one to one ratio unless it's really cold. Everything you just got to kind of play by ear. That's kind of the roundabout guidelines that we go by. So let's say, for instance, if weather uh, is really nice from March 1st on, 
and uh, nighttime temperatures are you know mid 40s and not dipping down real real cold like 35 and below is uh, you know risking it, it, not not a whole lot but just keep it at one t at, at that time of two to one if you're still dipping down in the 30s at nighttime uh but we'll start feeding a one-to-one -one, usually like i said around march 1st unless weather doesn't permit and we'll feed from march 1st all the way up until november again now it's going to be different in your area so just kind of play things by ear it's december 1st is a good guideline for us to go by because we we every year we do the same thing put dry sugar on and then uh uh, dry sugar uh, like I said December January halfway through February two to one from through the month of uh, February one to one from March all the way up until November again so that's how we run it that's that works for us here in North Georgia uh, if you're south of us you know those dates will change they'll change change to your advantage where you can uh, feed more months of one-to-one -one sugar ratio so I just wanted to kind of explain that. Now, uh, you can watch my video on mixing sugar. Uh, it doesn't take a, a big contraption to mix sugar. We got our big 250 uh, gallon tote that we use. But like I said, you can, you can mix a five gallon bucket and a water hose and stir it up with your hands and that's fine. That's all you need to do uh, when you're starting out. You don't need to heat it. I'm not a fan at all about heating your sugar water. So, that explains that because I, I wanted to get that out because a lot of places now will be going to a two, two to one sugar ratio north of us. So I just wanted to get this out in time to kind of explain to people when it breaks really cold and, you know, around about 35 and below nighttime temperatures, you know, you should be feeding uh, a two to one. In the 40s, to me, it's okay uh, for a one to one ratio if, if you're in the timeline of a... Uh, of the queen that if she's still laying good and you're still trying to build up your colonies going into winter so that's about it i'll quit rambling about the sugar just wanted to get that message out to everybody and don't forget folks we got 2021 20, packages on sale not on sale for sale at barnyardbees.com beekeeping supplies don't forget to check us out barnyardbees.com don't forget folks please help share our videos pass them around share them on facebook uh, on youtube wherever uh, like and subscribe and thanks for watching barnyard beast